huge situation going on with airlines as you guys know tons of canceled flights but the weather caused a situation for a lot of airlines over the last uh number of days that kind of got resolved except for southwest airlines and uh they have just not gotten their situation under control at one point over 90 percent of the canceled flights were from the one airline southwest which is stunning and it is largely because they have decided not to invest in a more efficient system when it comes to the management of their airline and scheduling and all of that as they've now admitted to. But if you're in the right wing, it's not as flashy to blame a company that decided to invest their money in certain areas instead of the one that was directly going to help their uh, customers and getting mad at Southwest Airlines by themselves isn't as nice and sparkly for those, especially in Fox News. So instead, it's become about Pete Buttigieg, Transportation Secretary. Now, I'm going to show you some clips that reveal that. First, though, does it make some sense to criticize Pete Buttigieg as a Transportation Secretary when there's a huge transportation-related problem? Sure. But you have to look in the, uh, into the details. I think the Transportation uh, Department could have done more to force airlines into running their company better but also you realize wait if all the other airlines are doing fine as we'll see a fox news correspondent who makes some good points in contrast to the other ones will say then why is it something the transportation department is doing wrong if just one company has made horrible decisions you can decide where to put the blame. I think Pete Buttigieg should be doing everything possible as a transportation secretary to respond to this and prevent this in the future. But the sole and um, or most important culprit in this situation is Southwest Airlines for causing so many horrible situations for their customers. But here's an example of the attitude right now on Fox News in regard to all of this. What this indicates is a system failure. Earlier this year, especially over the summer, we saw a lot of problems with a lot of airlines, and I pressed them to increase their customer service commitments to put it in writing. And now that they have put it in writing, we can enforce that. So I reminded them of their promises and reminded them that we will be here to hold them accountable to things like taking care of the expenses of those passengers. Ooh, Mayor Pete's going to hold them accountable. This guy's actually bragging about making Southwest put customer service commitments in writing. Yes, people want to get refunded for the chaos and have their expenses paid as they should, but that doesn't help them right now. To hold the airlines accountable, you have to understand the problem. And it's not clear this administration does. There was a rash of these cancellations. It's funny. Uh, what's strange is with Fox News, so often you see criticisms that would lead you to believe if you follow their logical, uh, you know, the extent of their logical argument um, or the end of their logical argument would lead you to believe that they were proposing some pretty socialist actions or some pretty liberal actions. Because if you want to force airlines into updating their system more often, regulating them more aggressively so that these situations don't happen, forcing them into giving uh, refunds back to individuals um, based on certain circumstances earlier than they usually do it now, whatever it might be, that would take a pretty Democratic Party mindset. That would take a pretty liberal, pretty progressive mindset where you're okay heavily regulating the free market, which many on Fox News pretend to be against, and they call it socialism when it's the left proposing it. But here's a Fox News uh, course, because I agree a lot should be done so this doesn't happen, but they would never agree with the solutions out before, but they don't have replacement solutions. Here's a Fox News correspondent on The Five, who seems to be the more liberal uh, individual on this panel, making some great points in regard to this. The last couple of years. This is not even about Pete Buttigieg, though. Let's be very clear. I mean, you this saw that. He acted like oh, a no, 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 hold on. 90% of the flights that have been canceled in the United States is from one airline. A majority of the flights canceled around the world 
is from one airline. So to sit here to blame this on the transportation secretary when you have one airline and one irresponsible, it's not even the employees of this airline. It's not to one be, airline. No, 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 it is, it is. No, 90% that's... of the, I did not interrupt you, 90% okay, okay. of the flights. You're not answering what Tyler are, said. But, but well, here's, he, I'm he making my point. And do it. 90% of the airline, 90% of the flights canceled in the United States today are from Southwest Airlines because you have a bad management, you have a, they have bad software, you can't blame the flight attendants, you can't blame the pilots, you can't blame the ramp agents, you have to blame the people who sit in the corporate suites of Southwest Airlines for canceling flights. Period. The end of story. But to blame could, Pete Buttigieg but, but for the could, fact that Southwest but, can't manage their plane could, is ridiculous. But could, you can't blame but, him for that. But you but could. could you can, yeah, great, great point. Because um, it is an issue with that company. The right often, the more conservative part of our country, has an aversion to heavily intervening in the free market and forcing regulations upon companies that would uh, mandate better treatment of their customers and mandate certain punishments if they don't follow through on commitments to their customers. And so I'm great with doing more of that. I'm great with pressuring Pete Buttigieg, the Biden administration, Congress to do more of that, to make travel better for consumers. But I don't think they're going to want to go along with me on that or go along with more liberal lawmakers if uh, the rubber met the road, if that's the phrase. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show hours before any of the clips are uploaded to YouTube, plus get a full extra show every single Saturday, you can do so by going to patreon.com slash Luke Beasley. That's patreon.com slash Luke Beasley. And there's a link in the description.